Hello once again everybody, my name is Chris Ogle and uh, this video is running on from the previous video that I did which was about Twitter and uh, how you have no idea quite where things are going to end up on social media. Now <clears throat> what I'm going to cover in this particular video is a few more of the social media platforms so you can get an idea of how they might all be slightly different but how you can still achieve great things. So we're going to start off with Twitter again, and uh, let me just get some pins out. One pin anyway. Okay. So I'm going to start off again with Twitter, and I'm going to talk about a situation with Nikki Pepper. Now, let's just put Twitter up here. Okay, so as you might know, Nikki Pepper is a district leader within Link for Growth, but uh, I want to talk about a particular situation. Back in 2008, or thereabouts, Nikki befriended on Twitter, she had a bit more time in those days, uh, a lady uh, called uh, Rosie Garwood. Now, these two, Nikki and Rosie, were tweeting each other uh, quite a lot in those days. Both were in different roles to the ones that they find themselves in now. <clears throat> and through the years, they were tweeting each other, I think, for about two years. Anyhow, what happened was, was that back in about, I'm guessing now, 2013, they reconnected. And at that time, Rosie was now working with... BITC connectors. Now, that's if you don't know what they are, Business in the Community Connectors is a Prince of Wales Trust, and basically what they do is they take people from corporate roles, fairly senior corporate roles, out of those roles for a year, introduce them in a sabbatical type way into the community to connect businesses and charities and schools and all sorts of community related activities that's what they do that's what BITC connectors do so in 2013 Nikki of course was actively involved and still is of course in link for growth so what's happened is is that now through that connection these two organizations have begun to work together <clears throat> now what's happened as a result of that is a huge amount all right so we have a connector we worked with in Watford Sarah there was another one that we met from Stevenage another one in Hitchin one in Peterborough that's Grant and we have one in actually Redcar and we've now got one in Cambridge, Cairns. And we've also got, um, uh, we know the people in, well, in Luton, Milton Keynes, um, and loads of them in London, specifically places um, well, around Ealing Way, Acton. So you can see from just that connection on, on uh, uh, back in 2008, which didn't really go anywhere, what's happened as a result of that is that this whole myriad of connections has started to sort of break out. And it's not just this, there's other things that have happened as well, but uh, that all happened as a result of Twitter. And there's been so many connections made. I mean, in Peterborough last year, we all went on a on a diesel train which which had 40 people on it there was like 20 from business 20 from charities and it was just a, a phenomenal day out so all sorts of good stuff has happened as a result of these relationships budding out of nowhere so uh, fantastic well done Nikki and well done Rosie right I want to move on now to uh, to Alex Murray, right? So in 2013, in October, 
I sent a tweet out which went something like, anyone in Watford under 24 want to get involved in local community. No pay. <laughs> well, that might have been the, the clincher there at the end, no pay. Anyhow, a certain Alex Murray 21 replied to that message. He was 23 at the time, uh, way in 22. And uh, he thought that he would probably be too old and that he would struggle because there would probably be hundreds of people replied to that tweet. In fact, he was the only one. <laughs> Just one person replied. And uh, I'll leave Alex, if you ever get a chance to meet him, to sort of fill you in on the blanks here. But what has happened has been nothing short of astronomical. Um, Alex has become... Uh, within that two weeks, he'd met the he'd met Richard Harrington uh, with me in a capacity of trying to reach out to the young people of Watford, and of course, being a lot younger, he was going to appeal to people differently to me. We got involved in Stanmore College as a result of this because of Alex's activity and his his youth. We got he started the L4G youth sort of movement, which is the bit to do with young people coming together as part of the uh, link for growth. Um, he comes down the market every single week, pretty much with me. He also, uh, before he went back to school to study, became the district leader for South West Hearts. He's now currently undergoing training on the Thrive program. On, on the Thrive program, as a result of his involvement in Link for Growth, and he's travelled all over the country, and he's become what well, nothing short really of a phenomenal networker. And for a young guy of you know, 24 years of age, um, he's opened up an absolutely enormous network for himself, both in Watford and the Vickmans with Croxley Bushy. Um, lots and lots of people. He also co-hosts Watford, the Watford TV, uh, Watford TV thing we do. He'll be on this Friday if you want to see him. That's uh, Friday. Where are we today? 16th, 17th. I think it's the 20th of Feb. So he's become used to sitting in front of a camera and doing TV shows as well. So this is just an example of a personal development, really, and a network that has enabled uh, Alex to kind of establish himself as a young person, as a real component of the community. Alex is looking to get into law. He's, get, he's got a number of uh, work experience offers uh, in London and, and, and locally too, all as a result really of, his, of, his, of really just getting embedded into it and stuck into the community. Alex has also introduced us to the uh, water, waterway experiences. This is a charity that uh, is a charity that takes disadvantaged children out on the canal. Alex's father works for this organization. So Alex has also brought other people into the Link for Growth Fold and we held a coffee at their uh, facility in Nash Mill. So you can see that one single innocent tweet back in October has led to a whole series of things. So fantastic stuff and more on to Alex for everything that he's done really, because you get out what you put in at the end of the day. And I want to talk about Kay Griffiths as well. Now, I was introduced to Kay via, via a tweet. There was just something like, you know, um, I think 
you two ought to connect. I'm not 100% sure who put that tweet out there, but it was at Chris Ogle, which of course is me, and at Whole Self, which of course is Kate. And as a result of that, uh, I've been on to two of Kate's conversation sessions. Kate has become an active participant in Link for Growth. So she now runs with Jen Tiller, the Hitchin uh, Link for Coffee. Uh, Kate has introduced a myriad of people to Link for Growth with the potential for Bournemouth in the wings at the moment and also Cornwall. But lots and lots of opportunities and things because um, you know, Kate really enjoys the link for growth the, the ethics and the values and the principles which dovetails absolutely perfectly into the things that she's doing. And, uh, you know, there's all sorts of people involved in the, if you like, the uh, spiritual and consciousness and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, meditative thinking and stuff like that, which is all about bringing about the change in your inner self. Um, and uh, that's what we have to do, of course. We have to help people go through that transition and to realize that it isn't all about money, 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 greed, greed, greed. It is about actually our own personal growth and actually working together and collaborating together. And this is what everyone uh, that is in Kate's network really loves about what they're doing and also fits in nicely with what Link for Growth is doing. So that's another fairly innocuous tweet, you know, innocent tweet that went out there that has resulted in a whole stream of, of introductions and Facebook pages and groups that we belong to and everything else. So that's a really interesting uh, example of what could happen with Twitter as well. I'm going to move on now to Facebook and what has happened, uh, there's been there's been too many things to, to talk about really on Facebook, but back at the end, end of 2013, beginning of 2014, I think over the Christmas period, I started talking to Jerry Ridioff. And I, we actually talked about the way the world was and everything else and uh, I mentioned Link for Growth and she had a look at the website and I mentioned actually I mentioned at this time that there was the conversation that she was having in a thread on Facebook was being discussed on our community forums so I sent her off to have a look at that and she said, how do, I, how do I get on there then? How can I participate on there? So I sent her a username and password and the rest is pretty much history. So Jerry kind of looks after, you know, the north uh, of uh, for Link for Growth. And uh, she's introduced us to a variety of people. Um, you know, we've had Lisa Fennick, who's in Derby area. We've got, been introduced to D20. We've been, I've been introduced to Sue Esplin. Now, Sue is a virtual assistant and she has done a number of projects, paid for work projects for Link for Growth. So that's all income that's gone there. What's happening now is that. In Saltburn, we've got Jeff 
kitchen and there's a lot of other people dotted about who are now starting to step up to join L4G. And this is all going on in the north. D is about to launch another event near, I think it's Morpeth, up in the north there. So there's an awful lot going on, all as a result of this initial contact. Jerry has been down to Watford to the drinks. So we've got this whole red car Watford thing going on as well. Um, lots of connections. This is helping to sort of dismember the north-south divide, <laughs> start to get us. We're all in this together at the end of the day, so uh, it's been quite a fascinating journey. But there's lots and lots going on just as a result of a very simple conversation that started on Facebook, which has elaborated and elaborated and continues to grow exponentially uh, way beyond just the start. So um, absolutely fascinating what's going on there. So this was just a conversation that started with we friends on Facebook and then it just blossomed. Once I saw there was a post that was relevant, I got involved in that post and then uh, uh, sort of well, I got involved because we were talking about it anyway. Um, well, I'm now going to talk about Google Plus. Okay, so many of you might not know what Google Plus is. I mean, in terms of what I did here, uh, what happened here, the um, com there was a conversation. Now, Google Plus uh, is a different animal to Facebook. Um, and in fact, we're using it as the underpinning platform for Link for Growth and Community Building. But right when I first started speaking to Cal, which was the beginning of 2014, um, we had, we'd got the strategy, but we hadn't really deployed what we were doing. Um, but I was talking to Cal because I knew that we needed to develop the Google Plus platform. I knew that we needed to use it in anger. And Cal had just been appointed as a Google Plus top contributor. Now, what that means, is it all were? Uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. It means that um, Carol had been recognised for assisting the Google Plus platform and achieving a level of success and uh, recognised for that. She's now also a Hangout, uh, a hangout um, top contributor as well, which is great. Now, what, what I was looking for at the time for Link for Growth was somebody that could, could take some of the ideas that we had on uh, Google Plus and really drive them forward, specifically with regard to uh, specifically with regard to education. And what has happened as a result of that is that cows moved to Bulgaria, but that has, that's another that's another thing. <laughs> But you can do that. You can do that with what we're doing because it actually doesn't matter in this instance where the person is. Uh, but we've created a whole platform called Link for Skills, which is a, we're coining that as the People's University. Okay, we've got L4G TV, which is all about bringing a, a collecting information and knowledge and, uh, from all around the country, from all the communities that we're building, but not only that, for delivering national TV shows as well. Uh, and all this has happened as a result of the conversation up here. Uh, I was talking to Carol for, I don't know, very, very low level conversation, just plus one in staff, commenting periodically. And then uh, after a, a level of period of doing that, uh, we said, well, look, why don't we have a chat? Because we've been connected for a while. Let's have a chat and, and see see whether we've got anything that we can work together on. And that's kind of how, really, how this has happened. So we've now uh, got two sides to this. We've got the uh, what we call the kind of foundation programs, which are more to do with social media and stuff. And then we've got the open source, which are programs for enabling anybody who's got knowledge, skills, experience to be able to put that 
put that into a workshop and deliver it to an audience that makes up link for growth basically and beyond because uh it's not just about the people in link for growth link for skills can transcend that um and as can as can the tv platforms this is about exposure this is about using the platform to its max and we we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for carol we would not have the capability to record these videos to do these hangouts we may have done in the end but it's been expedited and this type of training has been made available primarily because we've had expertise in the hangout field which is enabled us to carry this through so fantastic stuff and great carol that you're with us so the last one i'm going to talk about and this is the uh the the is linkedin now i've got lots and lots of contacts on linkedin but there's one i want to talk about it popped up during last year. Um, in fact, there's been two people that have been popped up this way, but I'm going to talk about Howard Maury. Okay, so what happened was I was connected to Howard on LinkedIn. I don't know how that happened exactly. But then what happened, Howard sent me a message. I've been watching what you've been doing with Link for Growth. I love the concept, etc., etc. So it was a message of, liking link for growth and i uh, said so there's nothing down here you've got stuff going on in the midlands you've got stuff going on around high wickham and the closest one to me he's in stroud is cardiff which is a bit of a trek there's nothing in the middle can i start a link for growth in stroud so the answer was yes of course so we took how through the preliminaries of how to set that up and how to get it going um, but the key is is that how it uses LinkedIn more so than uh, the other platforms so um, now that's changed a little bit I've seen how more on Twitter and more on Google Plus than I did before but my connection with, with Howard was predominantly on LinkedIn and a lot of Howard's customers in previous lives etc has been related and geared towards traditional businesses who tend to hang out on the LinkedIn platform so that's that's where that started it started in a traditional business environment whereas the others were more about social engagement this was specifically because we were more connected in a business capacity and yeah you know, since then we've got people coming along to stroud it's still early days down there but i you know i know it's going to go from strength to strength so what i've given you here is an, is a few examples of how each of these different platforms can start to create we well, just don't know what, what I put as a title here. The only thing you do know is you don't know. You have no idea where things are going to go. But it is about engagement. And you have to know what each of these platforms is about. And therefore, you know, we do run a workshop on that, which enables you to go on and find out what's Twitter, what's Facebook, what's LinkedIn, what is Google Plus, why are they different. They all seem the same. Um, and then you can plug yourself into all of the different trainings and pick up the knowledge you need. To basically take the whole thing you know, take your experience of social media forward and if you've watched some of the other videos i've done you know this really isn't an option anymore i've been chastised for saying it but it, it isn't really an option we are going to we are networking physically and we're going to have to network online is, is just as well if not better because if you're in front of someone see the whites of the eyes you can see their face you can see if they're joking or not on social media people typing stuff in you're never quite sure of the real meaning because it could be read in a myriad of ways so you have to be even better online than you are in the flesh so i hope you found that fairly interesting um it's it's just so many stories i could tell you but uh, i hope you've enjoyed those few and you know a few of the people that we're better in link for growth so uh, i'm going to leave that now and i will see you on the next training